for my aunt, so maybe I'll catch a video of that and put it up if anyone's interested. Um, but I just had an experience that I wanted to share with you, and um, it's not really, it's just a small thing, but it relates to something that I think is a big thing. So um, it's this idea of self-confidence and self-love, and to me they're all kind of interrelated, but I'm really focusing on confidence. Um, I just went to a store to pick up something I needed, and um, something as small as that can be ruined when you don't have self-confidence. I'm actually a very shy person by, by nature. Um, I get really nervous when I talk to people, and the person who ended up selling me what I needed was a girl, and she was younger. She was, she was pretty. She was a pretty girl, and a lot of times I would get intimidated by that and I mean you could get down to even the instinctual reason of why that would happen um, which would be because of competition you as a girl when you see a girl who maybe threatens you in some way that feeling of fear and being threatened goes back to a very instinctual thing which is competition and if there's a girl out there who's better than you in any way then she could be the end up be the one that ends up with the the mate or whatever and I really believe that people operate on this instinctual level a lot of times where we don't even realize it but because of these things that have been handed down to us through years of evolution we still feel that fear and the great thing about being a human and the great thing about being where we are right now in civilization is that we can choose because of human will because of freedom to push our evolution and to make decisions not based on evolution but on our own choice on our free will on our thoughts on the things that we really care about and so like I said normally something as small as a shopping trip could be a, a bad experience for someone who isn't confident in themselves who feels that fear and is scared of these things around them well I've been working on self-love lately, um, on loving myself. I think it's so important to be able to do the things that you want to do in life, to have the confidence to know that you can do them, and to love yourself enough to do them and to want to do them and to feel good about it. So I go into this um, the store and I talk to the girl. We talk. She's really friendly. Um, and we just... We share a little bit of ourselves and it's not a negative thing i'm not looking at the floor the whole time i'm not worried about how i look i'm just very in the moment you could say and that's just it just turned out to be a good experience it was i walked out feeling great and i even got what i needed for free um so she was really cool and it's because of self-confidence something like i said i've been working on and it's just showing itself to me in my life and how you can really improve with it and I think part of being self-confident is being in the moment because when you're not confident what are you not confident about what you have to be insecure about really is it things in the past that bother you that you can't let go is it worry of things in the future when you live in the moment when you look at the art that's on the walls around you whenever you notice your breathing whenever you're paying attention to the people that are around you in this experience that we're all sharing together and maybe even share a little bit of yourself with them when you look down and you look at your hands and you notice the way they look and you notice the way something smells or the temperature of the air when you're really in the moment it kind of helps you be confident because you're not worried about all these other things like I said these past or future things that you can't do anything about um, you just have to really trust yourself and know that you'll be okay um, and you should have the self-love to trust that it'll be okay to know that you can handle the situation and if you really feel like you can't handle the situation that's part of self-love too is preparing yourself educating yourself learning about the things that you know you need to learn about to be able to handle situations better in the future you're the only one that can do it um, it really boils down to self-empowerment, self-love, and self-confidence, and these things are all really related, and they just, they make life so much better. Um, situations are better to handle, and you know you can handle them. They're easier to handle.
handled whenever you trust yourself and they're more enjoyable whenever you love yourself if you like to connect with people you can hang around people and be around people without having to worry if you just allow yourself to have that confidence it's a development process but I'll believe in you if you'll believe in me and I just wanted to share this one small moment with you um, this experience that I had because even though I'm talking about myself I think that uh, maybe you can relate with being shy or intimidated if people are scared or worried or not being able to let things go and really the secret to how to change that is just I mean there's simple things love yourself be confident prepare um, breathe a little bit smile a little bit it's okay um, but that's it and I hope you guys all have a good day